Hello everyone. Today our topic is to enlighten you about prosperity in the Holy Bible. Spiritual, physical and financial prosperity. We are sure you have enjoyed our earlier video showing how to keep good health. It is our earnest request to you that you may like and subscribe. We also expect that you will recommend our videos to your friends and relatives so that the name of the Lord will be glorified through our collective efforts. Dear children of God, we bless you from his throne of grace that you will a great blessings to many people around you. Our God is the God of prosperity in all areas of our life for the whole world belongs to God and the fullness thereof. Everything on earth including the rich and poor belongs to him. When God created man he told him to subdue and take charge of the earth. We read from 3 John chapter 1 verses 2 as under. I wish that you may prosper and be in good health even as your soul prospereth. This verse shows us that God wants us to prosper in every area of our lives. Biblical prosperity includes spiritual, relational, physical, mental and material blessings. Jesus died for us so that we can become heirs of the kingdom of God, where we inherit all good things that pertain to life and godliness. We find from the Holy Bible that his beloved ones were all rich in financial matters too. Take for example Job, Abraham, Jacob, Joseph, Moses, Joshua, David, Daniel all were very rich. But many people desiring prosperity miss the point of why. They think their prosperity is for their benefit and theirs alone. Taken to an extreme some people end up with a prosperity gospel and a prosperity theology. Don't go there. These overreaches miss the basic biblical truth that God wants us to prosper. He wants to bless us. But why? God doesn't bless us with success and wealth so that we can live extravagant self-centered lives. He blesses us not for ourselves only but for the sake of others too. God told Abraham in Genesis 12:2 as under I will bless you and you will in turn bless others. This means that God's blessings are not for us to consume or to squander in conspicuous living. Our blessings are to share with others. As God is generous with us, may we be as generous toward others. Prosperity is not a bad word and we must start embracing it as good. Consider some of what the Bible says about the idea of prospering. God plans to prosper his people and not harm them. Plans to give them hope and a future read Jeremiah 29 11. God told Jacob to go back home and he would prosper. Genesis 32 9. Obey God that we may live long and prosper. Deuteronomy 5:33. Walk in obedience with God and do all he says so that you will prosper in everything you do and everywhere you go. 1 Kings 2:3. A person who gives generously will prosper. Proverbs 11:25. Those who trust in God will prosper. Proverbs 28:25. You will prosper more and then you will know that I am your Lord. Ezekiel 36:11. A popular pastime today is to decry prosperity as an evil that plagues the world. These folks think that all people who prosper are greedy and selfish, though some are. They advocate taking from those who have and give to those who have not. In truth, these people aren't interested in helping the poor as much as they are envious that others have more than they do. They miss the point that God wants us to prosper. The Bible has much to say about prosper and prosperity. We often think of prosper in terms of money, but it also applies to other areas of our life. Spiritually, relationally, physically, mentally and materially. Our family can prosper. We can prosper by enjoying good health. and we can prosper in intangible ways when we lead a god honoring life 
In order to bless us abundantly in all areas of our life, we have to obey His commandments. First King chapter two verses three states as under, and keep the charge of the Lord your God, walking in His ways and keeping His statutes, His commandments, His rules, and His testimonies, as it is written in the law of Moses, that you may prosper in all that you do and wherever you turn. Again in Deuteronomy chapter 28 verses 12 we read as under that the Lord will open to you his good treasury the heavens to give the rain to your land in its season and to bless all the work of your hands and you shall lend to many nations but you shall not borrow In Matthew chapter 6 verses Jesus taught as under but seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be added to you And God is able to make all grace abound to you so that having all sufficiency in all things at all times you may abound in every good work as we see in 2 Corinthians 9:8 For the Lord will open to you his good treasury the heavens to give the rain to your land in its season and to bless all the work of your hands and you shall lend to many nations but you shall not borrow Read Deuteronomy 28 12 Five now to him who is able to do far more abundantly than all that we ask or think according to the power at work within us Read Ephesians 3 bachkar 20 minute 6 His divine power has granted to us all things that pertain to life and godliness through the knowledge of him who called us to his own glory and excellence Read 2 Peter 1 bachkar 3 minute Seven. If you are willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. Read Istia Ek Bajkar Unnis Minit. Eight. In the day of prosperity, be joyful, and in the day of adversity, consider God has made the one as well as the other, so that man may not find out anything that will be after him. Ecclesiastes Saat Bajkar Chodha Minit. Nine. Keep your life free from the love of money. and be content with what you have for he has said i will never leave you nor forsake you hebrews 13 bajkar 5 minute 10 bread is made for laughter and wine gladdens life and money answers everything god made his people prosper while they were in egypt acts 13:17 some of these verses apply to individuals while other passages have a broader audience But the point we can glean from all these verses and many others in the Bible is that God loves us and he wants us to prosper. Blessed to be a blessing. But many people desiring prosperity miss the point of why. They think their prosperity is for their benefit and theirs alone. Taken to an extreme we end up with a prosperity gospel and a prosperity theology. Don't go there. These overreaches miss the basic biblical truth that God wants us to prosper. He wants to bless us. But why? God doesn't bless us with success and wealth so that we can live extravagant self-centered lives. He blesses us not for ourselves but for the sake of others. God told Abraham I will bless you and you will in turn bless others. Genesis 12:2. This means that God's blessings are not for us to consume or to squander in conspicuous living. Kindly subscribe to our videos and like it so that we may come with videos of high quality materials which will benefit everyone. We pray that God bless you all with good health and mental peace and happiness in the coming days. Thank you.